Hi everyone! As widely expected, the Fed raised the key rate by 75 basis points yesterday. However, traders were mainly focused on Jerome Powell's speech at the press conference. The Fed's key rate decision did not stir up market activity. However, Powell's comments fueled optimism on Wall Street and pushed the US dollar down. As a result, it rolled back from its recent highs to three weeks lows. The Fed chair still sees a path to a soft landing, yet it's going to be very difficult. It's been made significantly more challenging by the events of the last months. This is why the watchdog is not entirely sure that it will be to able to engineer it. Although the latest inflation data turned out to be worse than expected, the Fed is strongly committed to returning inflation to 2% target. The central bank may consider a larger rate increase at the next meeting. Recently, it has rarely made hints about future rate hikes. Powell also ruled out a recession scenario amid a strong labor market. Apart from that, there is some evidence of the slowdown in economic activity the Fed needs. It may help the regulator curb inflationary pressures. Powell's speech was less hawkish than expected. So many market participants assume the Fed may slow down the pace of monetary tightening in the near future. So such speculations is bullish for stocks. The US dollar sank following Powell's speech. Besides, there are now expectations of a less aggressive tightening. Traders have already priced in a 75 basis point rate increase. So it's quite possible that the Fed will slow its tightening pace. The greenback dropped considerably amid such news. It also weakened following a decline in two-year government bond yields to weekly lows. On Thursday, the U.S. dollar index dipped to 106.23. It may soon reach the monthly low of 106.10, last seen on July 5. In the Asian session, the index was moving downwards, extending losses against its main rivals. It was hovering in the range of 106.06, 106.58. However, the short-term outlook for the US dollar remains bullish despite the current decline. As long as its pace stays above the 5-month support level of 103.80, the US dollar may rise again. Like other rivals, the yen advanced against the US currency to a 3-month high of 135. It also took advantage of the Fed's less hawkish rhetoric and the decrease in US Treasury yields. The dollar-yen pair was trading at 135.33 during the Asian session, moving in the downward channel of 135.07, 135.59. It is still consolidating at 135.30. A strong support level is located at 131.50, while the resistance levels are seen at 135.90 and 136.00. Analysts are confident that the yen's upward movement is likely to be short-lived. Therefore, the yen could approach the resistance level of 137.40 and 138.40. While the Fed keeps raising the key rate, the Bank of Japan sticks to an ultra-loose monetary policy. Bank of Japan policymakers believe that the wage growth will help boost household consumption in the country and contribute to economic recovery. Today, the International Monetary Fund supported the dovish stance of Bank of Japan on monetary policy. IMF chief economist Pierre Oliver Gurinash stressed that the commodity monetary policy stance seems quite appropriate given a lack of inflationary pressure. He also assumes that a weak yen will eventually help the central bank increase economic expansion. In Australia, inflation figures released on Wednesday were slightly below expectations. The export, the export price index came out at 10% against the previous rating of 18% in quarterly terms, while the import index totaled 4.3% versus 5.1%. For this reason, investors lowered expectations of a 75 basis point rate hike at the next RBA meeting scheduled for August 2. Australia also slashed its economic forecasts because of high inflation, interest rate hikes, debt levels and slowing global growth. The trajectory of the Aussie depends now on rather contradictory factors. 
as a plus the US dollar is losing momentum. However, expectations of a less aggressive rate hike are bearish for the Aussie. Besides, it has a, it, uh, has a high correlation with the stock market, which is rising now. Let's not forget about the growing oil prices. Being a commodity currency, the Australian dollar also moves up amid a rally in the oil market. As seen, there are more positive factors, so the Australian American dollar pay is moving upwards in the range of 0.6981, 0.7010. However, despite a jump to 0.7003 in the Asian session, analysts do not see drivers for further growth. The likelihood of a climb to the next resistance level of 0.7070 is very low. As the Fed meeting is over, traders are looking forward to the US GDP data, which is due today. This report will show whether a recession will occur in the US. As a reminder, a technical recession implies a drop in GDP for two consecutive quarters. The first quarter GDP figure was already negative. Don't miss our video review of the American session today with the latest market news and predictions.